Hey everybody, welcome back to Tavern Master. I've been attempting to keep my guests per day as close to around 200 as I possibly can. Because I think that's about the meat, that's like the sweet spot of where my servers and my bartenders and stuff can kind of handle it. So I'm going to add just a couple of more decorations here. We're going to add this suit of armor. I'm going to place it right here by this coat rack. Maybe just underneath the... Eh, yeah, but about to buy this coat rack. And that's going to bump it up to 181. And then uh, one of these other banners can go here. That'll be, what, 178, I guess. Uh, not sure why that happened. Wait, wasn't it 181? How did adding this... Wait, did adding this reduce how many people I could have? I keep clicking the barrels. Yeah, that was weird. What happened there? We were at... Wait, weren't we at like 170-something? I added the suit of armor. Wait. Uh, it goes to 181.3, right? And then I uh, I add the banner, and it, it just clicking the banner, it knocks it down to 177. I didn't even place it. And then placing it does almost nothing. Well, that was interesting. I'm encountering, I'm encountering little, little things, little bugs. Ooh, we're going to find them all. I swear, we're going to find them all. Uh, let's take a look at the seats and put this in. This will totally do it right here. Bam, 184. Okay, so uh, the reason, I, I tried to keep this as close to uh, uh, 200 as possible. I think that's the sweet spot where these guys can serve as many customers uh, reasonably well with speed and everything and actually get it done. For research-wise, the props for soup is completed. So we have one of three requirements for the unlimited waitresses. Uh, and then we have the plus four guests per day. We're working on that. It's almost done. I anticipate we'll probably get that today. Uh, just those 15 uh, gold people. With that being done, contingent on this being done, we're going to go after hotel next. And you can see we need 100 of each. And uh, when you know it, we have tons of prestige. We're going to invite the king and queen to feast. Yes, that'll be tomorrow. Contingent upon this being done today, we'll invite them tomorrow and really just wipe this off uh, with the, the king visit. This one here, I think, will go by fairly quickly, and we can always invite them back if we need more of these guys, too. So we're going to get a lot of stuff done today. And uh, how I keep my guests sort of in this area, I keep upgrading, right? I keep upgrading the, uh, the place. Every once in a while, I'll get these areas where I can't quite afford the really good ones, so I'll get the secondary good ones. And I keep doing that, right? I want to get it as close to 200 as I can. And uh, the idea is basically I just keep raising the prestige, using the money, whatever. This goes to like 350, 360 a day, way over a kill, no way I can serve that many. I raise my prices at the bar, knocks it down to like 170. That's all it takes. You knock, It knocks it down like really extremely that way. Uh, so we're up to, here's my prices if anyone's curious what we're at to now. We're charging 20 gold for, for mead. Costs us four. We're selling, we're, we're, this is the best one. Charging 14 gold for water. That's pretty good. That's great. Considering it's free for us, I think that's pretty good. Uh, not the greatest, not the best profit margin. Uh, which one's the best profit margin? We get 15 gold on ale, 16 on mead. Uh, we get 16 on wine as well. That might be the best one. Hey, I hear, I know that noise. That means our research is done. Yes. Start the hotel research. And, uh, it looks like we're going to start ticking away at that a little bit now already. Yep. A couple of guests leaving at the end of the day. The king and queen shall feast. We'll get 5,000 gold for that. All the drinks will sell for 15. And, uh, it looks to me like 100 gold. 100 gold people, yes. Uh, I fired one of my uh, one of my bartenders. They were both level 10, but uh, the second bartender got that whole uh, in increases uh, experience twice as fast thing. He didn't really have the perks I was looking for, so I got rid of him, brought in somebody who had this already, and uh, I, I do wish I could find replacements for these guys without firing them first, because I kind of have to commit to removing them before I can see who's available to replace them. Um, so really, I just wait until they have both of their perks and then decide to replace them if that's the case. Uh, so that's how I've been doing it anyway. So this is supposed to be the king and queen. Look at all the knights. Oh my god. There's so many people in armor. 
That's the 5,000. Oh, I did it again. And it's 102 here and none of these. Is that how it's supposed to be? I feel like that's bugged, right? That's got to be. I am disappointed. I want to see what the king looks like. All I see are a bunch of stiffs. A bunch of dorks in armor. That's all I got. Where's the king? Oh, well. 82. Uh, 8200. So let's come up here. And uh, we can start replacing some of these. With the good benches now. This is the real cheap and quick prestige gain right there. Up to 26,000 even. This probably puts me over 200 guests. Oh, you know what, though? I can move this over and make it look better, can't I? I certainly can. What's going on here? Oh, I missed a, I missed a bench. Well, good thing I've got one here. Ready for you. Yes, I do. Uh, we can also do the tables here, too, I think. So get rid of this table and this table. And then pop in the luxury table here and here. Raising the prestige even higher. Olga, what's your second trait? Ah, oh, I am disappointed again, Olga. If you didn't have this, I would fire you, but this is the one I really value more. Uh, if I can get someone with this trait plus this trait, that's like the perfect server, right? I suppose this trait's pretty good too, but it's the drinks at one time. This person right here, right? Lily is the perfect server. Hashtag team Lily. <laughs> We're bringing it back. This one is pretty good too. Um, typically these guys can work for a little bit less money, but uh, it doesn't really matter. We're making a lot. We spend, uh, I think at this pace we spend about, I wanna say a little over a thousand gold a day is the wages. Look at these guys. They, like, look at how many drinks they can carry at once. It's ridiculous. Like they just whoosh, all the drinks are gone. It's very good. That perk is so good. Look at how these drinks that are here and they're, they're just gone. It's so good, man. <laughs> so I want to get servers that have that perk. If I can get all my servers to have that perk, uh, we're going to be able to serve so many more customers. And the other perks won't matter. It also means less work for the servers. It's really a two-fold thing. You can serve more people because you can actually deliver the drinks they order. But you can also, it's less work for the servers because they don't have to go back and forth as much uh, to do the same amount of work. So it's nice. All right, start the next day. But then I want to pause it really quick. Because we're at 267 guests a day. All right, so this is how I'm doing it. I take I take these tables, right? We replace them with the best tables. The best tables, only the best. Every time you do a special event, the dishes are being left behind, but people will still sit there and use, the, use them. But the dishes will look like they're still there. Okay, we're doing like, we'll go like that. And now we're up to 295 a day. Can I go any more? Just like a little bit more? These are really expensive, so I can't... Well, I can replace these kind of, but I'd rather do meaningful changes like these tables here. I can get rid of this one. That was already a really good table. This was already a heavy table. I thought I could afford that. I still can, though. I can afford these. I'll just, I'll just wipe them off right now. And then uh, speed up time. And then as the money grows, we can add these. Like, I can already do one. I, I just have to wait for this one. So I need 1,200 gold, and I can lay this one back in. We're at 297 a day, so we're totally going to fill this place up. That's the crazy part, is filling this place up. And uh, I don't know if my servers can handle this. We really, we're about to get a hotel, so uh, I really need to get to this. I think this is the milestone where you just say GG, and you can afford anything. Because when you get to this, you can really serve, you, you can kind of serve as a seemingly infinite number of people. I realize that, you know, we're going to start getting slow on food and all that, but at least the drinks will be delivered. And then it becomes like, you know, obviously the unlimited thing is, is cool too, but I don't think I want another bar, you know? Do I really need unlimited bartenders when you can only have one bartender per bar? I think maybe having a slightly larger bar with two bartenders working it could be kind of nice because, I mean, you're only if you only give us three floors to work with. Oh, it's going to look nice, though, because the third floor, I wonder if it will let me build a third floor over top of this. Not that I would. 
I'm just curious if I can place floor above above this. So I guess we'll look and find out afterwards, won't we? So uh, yeah, obviously this number of guests is gonna be really straining for my servers, right? And uh, we have a lot of money now, so let's pause it really quick. And this table looks like it's not doing anything. So we'll go ahead and upgrade you to a Lux. And then we'll look at the seats and go bop, bop. Now we're at 315 a day. Let's go down to the lower floor really quick. As soon as we have 1200, we'll replace this table. And we're gonna have to watch our money, but I think honestly, you can go in the negative. It's, it's fine. The game will let you do it. And there we go. So let's pause this, go to the tables and pop that in. Now that we have 324 as our daily, which is way too many, we could just change the prices, increase it, and now we're only gonna get 149 people. But we're gonna get a lot more for the drinks, and then we just constantly raise our prestige to kick this thing back to 200. And that's kind of what I've been doing. So we make more money for an adequate number of people that we can actually serve. Because it doesn't matter what I charge for these drinks, they never got delivered, right? That's the thing. You have to deliver the things in order to get paid for it. Uh, so we raise our prices to help offset this. I think that's, yep, that's the end of the research. Let's go ahead and grab small hotel uh, furniture. And can we schedule an event? Uh, you know, I think if, if we can't have an event for another day and then the next day, I don't think we can get 200 of these guys in a day. I might be wrong, but I don't think we can do that. We need both of these. So I think what we might do for the event, can we bring in, is there an event that, I was looking for an event that does both the gold and orange at the same time, but I don't see that. So uh, yeah, what's the one I need? I need orange, 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 orange. The, the best thing for that is I guess the executioners. I'd really rather not, but I guess that does get me towards, it gets me closer to my research goal, so I probably should do it. Yeah, so we use about 1,100 gold uh, a day for wages. And again, it doesn't really matter if I go negative, but keeping the guests lower, and then as we start getting money, I'll start replacing furniture, and that will increase the number of guests we have, and we rinse and repeat, and that's how the game works. That's how the process works. Uh, I might have been a little too adventurous. That knocked it down a lot more than I thought it would. It seems like every time I hit the button to raise prices, this number drops by about 55%. Not exactly half, but it does it, you know, like a little bit more than half. And, uh, but my prestige is just killer. And, and little changes to prestige will up this number by a, quite a lot. Uh, so, for example, if I come over here and uh, I'm getting a good amount of money, I was going to replace that table. Uh... Let me look for a table to replace here. Up here is fine. This is this is good. So we'll pause it here. Take this table, sell it. So it, it does it knocks it down a very small amount, right? Because this table is only worth 35. But I'm replacing it with a table that's worth 200, right? So it's a huge increase in prestige. And just that by that one table replacement, you know, it's up a little bit. And I like that, you know? It's like an extra six guests or whatever, right? So um, we just, you know, just rinse and repeat. And that's what I'll do for now, until we get to our hotel, which, you know, is orange, and then we have to do the 150, and then we still can't do anything with it because you can't have the floor until way over here. I wish you could unlock the floor and then unlock these things, but I, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a chicken and the egg thing, right? Because you can't really use these without the other floor, but if I unlock the floor without these, well, then I can build a floor, but I have nothing I can do with it, right? So it's like, whatever, what am I gonna do? And I think this right here is where the stairs are going to be for the uh, for the hotel. So it's sort of like a wrapping thing. They can come up like this. They can walk between them. Or they can go up the stairs again. And then they'll be at the hotel. Uh, so I've left a little extra space here because of that. Because I'm pretty sure this table is going to go away. Uh, and then i got to start replacing these tables out here too. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Replace it with the Lux. And we're up to 163. Uh, we can stop here, stop this, replace it with the Lux. And we're up to 171, pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna hold off there because I'm, also, I'm gonna be in the negatives and money if I don't. And uh, yeah, more and more guests every single day. And we're actually serving every drink delivered. We're serving all the food delivered, or all the food ordered, sorry. We're delivering all the food ordered, right? That kind of thing. 
course, we close. They're allowed to order right up to the closing bell. So, like, we'll actually make things, and it drains our supplies, even though we can't sell it. I do wish that the bar and orders for the bar would close, like... I'm doing air quotes now, 30 minutes before closing. That way it would give us time to deliver the final drinks before the closing bell. Otherwise, this costs me supplies, at least I think it does, uh, and there's zero chance at delivering it. The same thing goes with food. And the cook who is trying his bestest to mimic... He's he's getting his steps in, guys. <laughs> he's... This is this is the best he can do for sk not skipping leg day right here. This <laughs> is the only thing we can do. Uh, all right, start the next day. I think we're pretty much right on the money for the uh, well the money, and uh, we have an event today. That's to get a bunch of these guys in. So we're gonna only it's only fifty of them really. It's not that many. Uh, and we're not paid that much bonus money either. So I don't really like this event. I think the best way to simply get this. Uh, is probably just to do standard days because otherwise we're going to be stretched for cash a lot of times. The gold ones are much easier and uh, this plus one bar is going to be 200 of those guys but after that it's all about gold. So uh, I guess this is standard guess too. But Alright, anyway I'm going to let it run and uh, I want to see if I can get hotel in this video. We're already 16 and a half minutes in. Yikes. Uh, I really wanted to get hotel started in this video so I guess we'll skip ahead a bunch until I have uh, the cash to do so. Okay, we're hosting the king and queen again today for the final uh, gold people, I suppose, that we need in order to unlock unlimited waitresses. Yeah, I've been uh, letting it run for quite a while. Sorry about all the skipping around if you're not into that kind of thing, but it really is just sort of repetitive, let it run, replace some chairs and tables, rinse and repeat uh, until you kind of work your way up to where we can do the hotel. So uh, I didn't, just didn't want you guys to have to sit through all that. So. Hotel, small furniture uh, for the hotel, and big hotel furniture all done. And now the unlimited waitresses will be complete since we invited 100 gold people in. Gold people. I really think I'm just going to call them, like, warriors. Because all the gold, all the yellow, all the gold, they're all, like, they're all fighters, you know? At least as far as that I can tell from these events, anyway. They're all, every single one of them are fighters. So you have, you have knights, you have pirates... I guess, yeah, if they're fighters, they, they do fight. Uh, and then there's Viking themes. So, like, these are all warriors. So, uh, I feel like it's, like, workers, right? You have the, the laborers and specialist workers. And then you have the uh, the warriors and the fighters. And then you have royalty, right? Or, or the king's court, I suppose. But it doesn't look like the royalty ever shows up to the events. Unfortunate, because I really wanted to see what the, the king and queen look like, but... Uh, it is what it is. We have 12,000 gold. I've been upgrading things. Yeah, there's a lot of that stuff that's been upgraded. Get rid of this. Watch the 12,000 gold melt just by making four benches. Bam, 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 bam. And now it's not that impressive in my wallet anymore. Uh, we're going to upgrade these two. Might as well make it the whole set. Going to go bop, bop. And then the table will come in and bop. All right, let's hold on to gold for a little bit here. Now, we should have, with this much prestige, we should have a huge maximum. Yeah, right now we're at 360 a day. Watch me increase the prices just a little bit tomorrow. It won't let me do it today because we're at a special event. But watch me increase the pricing tomorrow, and uh, this will probably drop to like 150 which is what I've been trying to do, trying to limit how many people can come in here so that we can actually serve that many um, with you know our current staff, but also getting the most money possible out of it. I think it's the most optimal way to do it um, since, well, it really does matter whether or not you actually fulfill the orders. Now we have unlimited waitress potential. So this changes the game just a little bit for us, doesn't it? I'm going to get... Mm, Mood decreasing slow? I really don't care. I, re I want all my waitresses to be able to carry a ton of drinks. That's all I want in the whole world, man. Let's go new floor. I don't really think I need a new bar either, but it is what it is. All right. Notice all this stuff, right? Now, they're going to work their way through and do dishes and carry through things. If I hit next day, though, we just had a special event. And look, see, like, they leave some of that stuff out. They don't take care of all of it. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do the thing. 157. 
Yikes. What's the current price right now, though? We're at uh, 23 gold for mead. Nice. We're charging 17 gold just for water at this point, and people are okay with that. At least, you know, 157.7 people are okay with that. Uh, so we do have a new button here with all that hotel stuff up. Oh, hang on a second. Let me upgrade her. She's attracting more customers. I want to get... Dang, man. I really wish this wasn't such a daily RNG. I want to choose perks. Ah, I'm not going to hire another one yet. Nope. We can take, we can handle this, right? Uh, so what we need now is just to serve a thousand people, which you would think you'd want to up the guests per day uh, to do that challenge. And I do, um, I absolutely do. But I'm going to do that by raising prestige, not by lowering prices. No, 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 we can't lower prices. Absolutely not. <laughs> we, ha we have to just make ourselves better, not make our prices worse. So we'll just do this and this. And look, now we're up to 169. It's fine. Yeah, there we go. Uh... We can actually afford two of these, so I'm going to do it. That's going to take all my money. There we go. Now we're back up to 182. T totally fine. So many people, just because I have better benches, they'll come in and pay my ridiculous my ridiculous rates. And, uh, yeah, so I'll probably let it run a little bit so we get the new floor. I really, like I said, I really want to get the hotel at least started in this video. I, I don't want to wait any longer. And, uh, yeah, so I've been trying to, like, really just cram this through and uh, force it, but, you know, money is the restriction, and uh, we don't really have anything else we can do for prestige at this point, although I can continue to invite the king and queen to a feast. It doesn't really help me with this goal, though, does it? It gets me unlimited chefs. That's kind of cool. And then unlimited bars. Oh, I was going to say, wait, can I just bypass the plus one bar and go right for unlimited? No, you have to have the plus one bar in order to get the unlimited chefs. So it looks like I'm going to need uh, orange instead to do that. We might want to want to think ahead on that. Now, I've chosen t for the orange, I've, instead of doing the executioner's meetup, I've decided to just do Merlin. It doesn't give me as much progress, but the amount of money it gives me is way better. So I'm going to keep doing Merlin for these until I get what I need. And uh, we'll go from there. So we made lots and lots of profits today. 3,500 here, and I will just keep upgrading. This whole top floor here is getting very close to all, like, completely being luxury at this point. It's very, very close. Yeah, and then every day, we're going to take a look at our waitresses and see if we can get... I think the tip is okay. We can hire that one. And then uh, walking speed doesn't decrease. Eh, like, I don't know... I don't know. The thing is, any one of these for their level 10 skill could proc the, you know, invite, carries in more guests or the one where they can carry more drinks. The carry more drinks one is the one I'm focusing on. That's the one I really want because the more drinks they can carry, the more this, the higher this number can go. Uh, but I'll hire one more, I guess. I'll hire one more today. And then that way, this number can keep going up higher, even with. Uh, the pricing and stuff going up. I can let this go up to like 250 right now. I think 250 would probably work. Uh, I, I'll probably have to start looking at the time to serve food and stuff, but like, look at their food times. Like, they're super small. And uh, primarily it's because I keep the guest count low. I'm keeping this, this low. We have more than enough seating to accommodate a huge flow of people through here, but, um, and we have a lot of waitresses now too. That is adding a lot of overhead costs, but you can see, like, my total income is is pretty good. Like, we're going to make money every day. As long as I don't spend it on a whole bunch of stuff, we'll make money every day. Uh, my new uh, prepare two soups at the same time. Yes! Very good. Well done, Adam. Oh, I've been firing chefs and rehiring them. <laughs> now we get two soups at the same time and a bonus for every main course. I like that. This guy attracts more customers and serves two soups at the same time. Uh, two soups at the same time, man, right here. And as well as uh, extra for dessert this time. And then uh, Bert here attracts more customers and gets a bonus for main courses. So my my chef team is set. We're good. Bartenders can carry more drinks and attracting more customers. And then there's William. I've replaced this bartender. Sorry, yeah, this bartender like three times already. 
his mood decreases slower. I don't really necessarily like this perk, but I'm hoping that the next one is better. And he's almost level 10. So we'll see if you get to keep your job there, Bill. Let's see if we can keep your job. I don't know yet. I haven't decided if you can keep your job yet. All right, everybody's leaving. And you can see, even with this many servers, I still did not deliver all the drinks at 195. Hmm. That must be like maybe last minute orders or something. Because I feel like I should have been able to handle that with that many servers. We're going to up the prestige just a little bit more just to see what happens. And uh, I probably shouldn't do it here because I want to get the, the bonus floor. Yeah, I'm going to do it over here instead. Let's sell these. And uh, we're going to move you over here. Move you over here. And um, this bench is most likely going to get replaced later. So what I think I'll do instead... We'll find one of the benches downstairs that aren't upgraded. Which would be none of them, because I'm on the ball. Oh yeah, look at all the, the single tables that are upgraded too. You only have a few places left without the luxury seating. I guess all along this wall isn't. Hmm. Interesting. These aren't upgraded anymore, but I'm already... Alright, I'm stacked on the tables. Well, we're going to see what happens with these. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, we may... Because yeah, I don't I know where the where the stairs are gonna be, you know, that's the that's the thing. Let's give them the cheap seats for for now. Oh, we can afford the deluxe benches, we might as well. We're at 215 a day. And then we have Merlin's event today, yeah. So this is gonna help our Actually this doesn't help our research at all. <laughs> Whoopsie! Oh well. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let this play on until I get the new floor. And then we're gonna build a hotel, okay? We're gonna get, at least get it started in this video. I'll be right back. All right, I've worked prestige to 45,000 plus. I got 8,300 in the bank, but I'm gonna wait on this. I'm not gonna spend anymore because we're gonna get started on our hotel with this money. Look at this research. We ended this day with just two more people needed to be served. I mean, honestly, two, really? Just get one of these drinks. We had some spare drinks at the end of the day, but yeah. Start the new day, complete the research, and then we're gonna talk about what we gotta do for the stairs that are gonna be for the next floor. I think I've decided not to place them here. Instead, I think I'm gonna place them up against the wall if it lets me, because I think it's gonna give me better flexibility for building this uh, hotel out. If, uh, I think anyway, we'll find out right now because we're done. Uh, let's go ahead and get the plus one bar, although I'm not sure I'm going to need it. And then uh, I actually discovered something. Oh, real quick, I'll walk you through this. So Bill didn't work out, okay? It was nice having Bill around, but he decided that level 10 was the best time to start gaining experience faster. Yeah, a lot of these guys do that. So uh, we had to unfortunately let Bill go, uh, but I sent him out the door with a 32 gold severance package. Everything is cool with us now. We're, we're great now. We, he's going to get another job at another place, so don't worry about him. Introducing Bert, who is significantly more ambitious, although a little bit more needy. This 35%. Um, but he comes in attracting more people, so that's nice. We're going to pay Bert more money because he's not very happy. So there we go. Now Bert can be happy. Also, interesting to note... We have a whole bunch more servers now, which is nice. We're able to sophisticate. Look at, look at the number of guests, 371. It's nice. Uh, however, we're not able to hire any additional servers from this point on because there isn't a kitchen or a counter, uh, or a kitchen counter or a bar that she can go to. This is really weird. Okay, I didn't know this was a thing, but apparently it is. Very strange. Apparently every server is assigned to a spot to go. So these servers are food servers. They're dedicated. They're gonna stand in these spots. That's why they have these icons and they move around like little checker, like chess pieces, right? You can assign them to specific spots, but that's so weird. Cause like servers are moving around constantly. They should be able to just get to the counter. They shouldn't have assigned seating as long as there's a free seat when they arrive. I don't know, it kind of removes the unlimited classification for these servers, but uh, it is what it is. So I can't actually hire any more servers. Uh, so I'm going to have to regulate this just a little bit more, but look at this place, right? If we just slow this down a little bit. 
The bottom floor, pretty much full, okay? Top floor, filling up fast. Serving times, not too shabby with everything being full. Food prep times are awesome too. Uh, I also went ahead and filled in this kitchen since I had forgotten to do so. So there's additional soup stuff happening in this kitchen, but I found another loophole. This guy wasn't in here because he was teleporting downstairs to do the soup stuff. And not only would he teleport downstairs, but then he would manually walk the dish all the way over to here and serve it on this. That was causing a problem, right? So now that I've outfitted this kitchen with everything, well, almost everything, he's still, he's still here. But there's one thing, I think maybe the dev overlooked this, I don't know, but um, kitchen? Two out of two, see everything how it says two out of two? Well, the chopping table, I can't place a chopping table in here because only one is allowed. And you're thinking, okay, well, you haven't done the research. Uh, so here's the chopping table research. There is, like, it went from fireplace grill, chopping table, the props for soup, right? That was the sequence before. Up here, it goes from fireplace grill directly to props for soup. There is no chopping table research. It's just not here. I cannot, I can't have another one. So the whole place, even though quote unquote unlimited kitchens is a thing, the whole place, uh, we, we can only have one chopping table apparently. So that part's a little weird too. All right, so the research is done. So let's do this other floor, huh? Enter build mode. And I wanna go one more floor up. There we are. And uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's keep this thing consistent. We're just gonna go with a build on a wall all the way around like this. Now I just want to test it. Okay, it will not let me, but it's kind of cool how it, if I if I drag it to this corner, it will kind of fill that in for me. That's nice. Uh, all the way over here and then all the way over here. All right, there's our top floor. And uh, for the wall texture on the top, I think we probably just go ahead and uh, keep this consistent with the exterior. Although I'm starting to think maybe having some sort of uh, striped pattern might look more interesting. I don't know. Uh, and then we have the windows, which I'm just gonna place uh, consistently with everything here. I may change them, but it looks better if you just kind of keep them in a row, I think like this. Uh, this is to the kitchen though, so that, eh, it's a second floor. Let the cook have a, let the cook have a window. Gosh. I'm gonna keep him locked in a cold, dark dungeon room while he's slaving away at your food. All right, so uh, we're gonna drop this down. We need to make a, an amendment to the floor below. So what I think I'd like to do is I'd like to place the stairs right here to go up so they can come in like this way to go to the restaurant and this way to go up the stairs. So to do that, I'm gonna have to lose a little prestige, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. We can actually make up for it a little bit too. So why don't we take uh, let's go. Yeah, I think we just pitch all of it. So we're going to get rid of all of this. This is going to drop our, the number of people we can serve. As you can see with all the uh, leftover drinks, that doesn't matter. And then we're going to move this temporarily too. And I'll just place this here and here until I figure out if there's anything else to do with it. Um, and we can also get that back just by doing this. Like all those customers that we just lost by doing that, we just do this. And now look, they're pretty much back. All right, so next is the stairs, which is not in the build menu. It's in the special area, right? Yeah, stairs. And uh, I think I can place them right here is what I'm hoping I can do. Right up against the wall. Overlaps with another wall. Okay, so it has to be here. See, I don't want it to do that. I, I really want it to be here. So uh, I'm gonna move this picture to this side, move this banner. Probably can't actually keep this banner. I'm not sure this banner is going to have a place that it can be. Unless it could be outside. I could, I could put it outside. Yeah. Let's put it outside. Uh, is there anything else in the way aside from these cups? Maybe this lantern? I wonder if it'll let me do it through the lantern. Let's see. I go like that. Okay, so that does work. So I'm going to get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Uh, these tables can go as well. Probably this one too, but... If I just slide this over, that's acceptable because this is against the edge. So it's accept you don't have to have them 
uh, spaced out in between them. So now if they want to go to the hotel, they just go like that. And if they want to go to the restaurant, then they can go this way. And then, um, of course, they could also just slip between here, but like whatever. Okay, so top floor. Hotel stuff, all right? Now we don't have much time left in this video, but we're, so most of this is gonna be tomorrow. I guess whenever it posts for you guys. But uh, there is this extra button here, so let's click it. And uh, it looks to me, I, I don't know how it works to be honest, because like there's there a reception desk they have to, you know, I see clocks, I see writing tables. I see this room divider, which I guess I use this to divide the rooms. Instead of walls, I, I don't. I honestly have no idea. But uh, I think we have different star ratings for this, so we're probably going to be ranked on stars. So why don't we do a lux bed? We can have single rooms, and then we can have the double rooms, right? So maybe on this side back here, we'll do double rooms. So I can place a double bed maybe there and there, right? And then. We can place the five star wardrobes right next to it like this and this and then i'm hoping i can place a, a divider or a wall or something right here it doesn't appear so I, I don't really know what this thing is for i was planning on just building like legitimately building walls for this is what i was gonna do but it doesn't look like it's gonna let me do that either so maybe the room dividers i might have to play around with this to see how it works because i i don't know uh, let's place that here, and we'll place this over here, I guess. It's kind of blocking the window, but it's mostly for exterior aesthetics anyway. So, if I wanted to... Oh, let's go back to this menu. If I wanted to have this be divided, I guess I would go something like... Uh, I guess this. this. Is this how this works? This is, it's really bizarre. I'm not sure how these dividers even, like, how does this even work, dude? I don't know. Like, what am I supposed to do with this stuff? Um, this, this curved wall, this can't be it. It can't be, right? I have to be able to, like, I have to be able to make rooms, right? Like this. Please tell me I can just make rooms like this and have actual walled in rooms, you know? Like, I don't know what to do with this. It's very, it's rather confusing to me. Um, let me take, uh, oh look, there's, oh, okay, there's a price on this. 250 gold, and then can I adjust it? Room doesn't have any doors. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a bit of a, that sounds like a, that sounds like a you problem, bro. <laughs> it doesn't sound like me. All right, so we got room. So 250, any decorations. Uh, well, there's not a whole lot of space for decorations. But we'll put this double bed, I guess it's a three by three, which is a bit weird. Really? No, it's a three by four. No, it's a four by four. It takes up so much extra space. Like, can this just be three by four? Like, look at this. There's no reason it should take up a four by four space. Like that is, that's a three by four bed, you know? I should be able to do that and save space. Dang. All right, well, I can't do it. So there it is. We'll put the wardrobe in uh, over there, I guess. And then I guess we'll give them a big writing desk, which goes in, it's a real cramped room now, isn't it? Now it can be 250, a single star my ass. <laughs> this is that, this is high end stuff here. All right, I don't know what you're smoking, but this is a high end room. All right, don't give me that. Don't give me that one star nonsense. Ah, here we go. Whoa, okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can do here. Requirements for five stars. All requirements for four stars are fulfilled. So bathtub and a fireplace. Okay, I see how this is. So we need much bigger rooms instead of the smaller rooms, right? So we're gonna take and use the wall delete. And I'm gonna have, I think this whole room, this whole thing be a room. Um, or at least this side, but then we have to have a little room right here, right? So maybe that's the solution. All right, let's try this. So uh, first thing is to create a, well, we're gonna wanna just create a wall here instead, right? Um, in fact, you know, I think instead we'll have the door be on this side. And then the writing desk, 
which looks absolutely nothing like a raven. I was going to put it right here. Okay. And then we have a... What was the requirements again? You want a, a fireplace and a bathtub. Wow, fireplace. In a five-star room, a fireplace. All right, we can put it over here. Now, it's not in the hotel menu to have a fireplace. Or unless... Oh, it's in decorations. Never mind. It's, it's literally said there's no decorations. So uh, we'll place it right there. Okay. So we need a bathtub. Okay, a bathtub. Uh, is that in miscellaneous, maybe? Yeah, bathtub. That's a that's big. It's very big. Okay, um, we're gonna have to move some stuff. So we'll put the bathroom there, and we'll put the writing desk along the wall like this. So this is a fairly cramped space now, but congratulations, you have all the things that meet the requirements. All requirements for four stars fill. Oh, I need this too. Two windows. Plus everything for three. Oh, wow. So basically just check everything. Got it. All right. Let's start with lights then. We'll put a light here. Ta-da. There's light. Uh, we got a two-star room. You need more windows, did you say? Okay. There's another window. You're welcome. Is it a three-star room now? No? Still two stars. We got everything for two and one. We need a bedside table, and then that's it. A bedside table. Okay. Come to me, bedside table, right, like, uh, like that. Is that how that works? I think so. Five-star room. Now, how much can we charge for a five-star room? Price is just right. There is a 100% chance this bed will be rented. All right, let me raise this up. 100%, okay. Yes, 100% still. Uh, okay. All right, 93, 94, it's going to be 300, right? Oh, come on, don't make me... Come on, man, five-star room. Just nail it right to 300. Make everybody happy, okay? Make all the people who hate odd numbers happy, okay? Why is this? Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? <laughs> Fine, 286 is the right price, 100%. Honestly, I don't need the chances to be 100% though, right? Because it's a chance. Which means it's going to get rented out. So 90% is pretty dang good. I'm going to go 350. I'm going to say 350 for this room. 86%. That sounds fine to me. All right. So uh, we got to do some more work on hotel rooms. Okay. And we're going to have that happen in the next video. But now you can see how hotels work. All right. And uh, it's a little cramped in here. But I think we can fit five-star rooms in a two-by-two -two area. Right? Two, I guess, not two-by-two. Two, it's... You, you get it. It's two big squares. Two by... You get two by two, okay? We can do that. So I can fit one, two, three, four, five, six. I can put maybe about 11 more of those in here, uh, which is interesting. I do want to have a diverse range of uh, rooms, though. I think that's probably a good idea to just have some that are lower priced. And there are beds, by the way, that you can uh, do that give you five stars, but only it's a single bed. So in that situation, I probably want to use that instead. I can fit just a little bit more stuff in here. Looks like uh, why one tile because of this silly thing counting as I think I think it takes up the extra space just because it's trying to consider where people will need to stand in order to use the item. I think that's the justification for it. And I hate it. <laughs> Just because I'm a salty bitch. That's it. That's the only reason. It's probably a good decision. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be salty about it anyway. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. If you liked the video, you know what to do. I hope you, uh, I hope you will. I hope you liked this video. And uh, the next one, will tackle the rest of the rooms. Get the hotel situated while we're making tons of money downstairs. Serving 351 guests. Take it easy. We'll see you. Bye-bye.